Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So I got one more flashlight review for you this week, and this is gonna be the Through Night TN40 now, probably one of the highest powered searchlights or spotlights that you can buy right now. I also wanna issue a quick warning for anybody who is in the market for a flashlight and is looking on places like Amazon or eBay. There's a lot of fakes, there's a lot of fraudulent stuff, so you have to be very diligent in your purchasing. More on this topic and the Through Night TN40 coming right up. I just want to let you guys know that this Sunday I'm going to be releasing an installment of the After the Collapse series, which is the first part of a chapter that deals with the phases of SHTF and martial law. So stay tuned. So for all the non-flashlight connoisseurs and gear reviewers of the world, I just want to issue a quick warning about a lot of the fake flashlights on Amazon.ca. Not so much fake, but fraudulent in terms of the amount of lumens that they claim. Uh, generally speaking, if a flashlight is purporting to put out more than 10,000 lumens, it's probably total garbage. The only flashlight I know of that is over 10,000 lumens right now is uh, a flashlight put out by a company called Ace Beam. And I can tell you right now, if you're not paying at least several hundred dollars for that flashlight, it's probably BS. Now, every year or so, there's leaps and bounds made with flashlight technology which drastically drives down the price very similar to what Moore's law has done with computers or what computers have done and we've given it the label of Moore's law which is basically just the idea that every two years the computing power doubles in the same way every couple of years it would seem that the lumen output of flashlights nearly doubles now there's just an insane amount of these aircraft grade anodized aluminum flashlights being mass produced nowadays and they're going by all sorts of names i'm seeing on facebook i constantly see this one post about this super military grade flashlight that should be banned and all this junk like that and it's just some you know it's your run of the mill a uh, high lumen flashlight, maybe in excess of 500 lumens. Nothing that we in our community haven't been familiar with for years on end. We all know about through nights and night cores and surefires and Claris and all those quality brands of flashlights. So we're well aware of the general mechanics of modern LEDs, heat dissipation, power consumption, things of that nature. But if you go on amazon.com and you type in like 10,000 lumen flashlight, you're gonna get things that come up like Sky Ray King, anything with fire in the title, like Trust Fire or Ultra Fire or Crap Fire, you might as well call them all Crap Fire, Thor Fire. Anything with fire in the name is pretty much junk with the exception of Sure Fire. Now granted, these flashlights probably still put out an ample amount of lumens for the price. Like right now, for instance, I'm looking at an Ino Gear 5000 lumen bright headlight flashlight which is 30 bucks total BS there is no possible way in hell that you can get a 5,000 lumen headlamp for that matter for that price 5,000 lumen headlamps don't even exist so this whole market deception right now is really playing on the fact that most people don't have a clue about the whole modern LED technology it's only now becoming mainstream so they're really trying to capitalize on people's lack of knowledge while well, they can. So I'm gonna post on screen a list of reputable flashlight manufacturers. Generally speaking, you get what you pay for. So if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. One of the most reasonably priced flashlight companies is probably Through Night. And I know I'm, I don't work for Through Night. I know I'm doing a review for them in this video, but generally speaking, they do have very well-priced economical flashlights and you can't go wrong with Through Night, it's a tried and true brand. They really have done a lot to perpetuate the flashlight arms race and bring the price down substantially. Like this 5,000 lumen headlamp, you're lucky if you're probably gonna get 1,000 lumens off that. Lucky if you get that. You probably aren't even gonna get that. You gotta wonder what else they're lying about if they're lying about that in terms of the quality of the materials that they're using and possibly even their labor manufacturing process that they use to make it. So I would encourage discretion when shopping online for flashlights. All right, so I know a lot of people are getting exhausted with the through night flashlights, but at the end of the day, they are a very reliable brand. Anyway, so this through night TN40, probably one of the most powerful 
searchlights or spotlights that I've ever used. I think this would be best suited to law enforcement. Uh, this is probably much higher powered than a lot of the onboard flashlights that police use or spotlights. I think it would be excellent for a boat or even search and rescue teams. It could also be useful if you had a very large property and you needed to survey the perimeter from a great distance. This would definitely come in handy in this respect because even floodlights like the through night TN 36 UT Although they put out just an insane amount of lumen, 7300 to be exact, they don't throw that light far enough to be able to see who's lurking way back in the bushes. So that's where this light is going to find its place. Now, obviously, this could be used as a signaling device. Quite frankly, you could probably see this light for 100 miles, literally, if the conditions were right. I think the threshold for human vision is seeing candlelight at 30 miles under ideal conditions so under the right conditions i really think that you could probably see this thing from a great great distance i'm going to overlay some footage here of miss canadian prepper who's off in the distance there almost a kilometer away shining the light at the camera as you can see and it is just bright it's brighter than a car's brights it very much would double as a light bar and i was thinking that a great accessory to this light might be some sort of mounting system now i mounted it on a tripod for some of these shots so to have some sort of tripod like system or some suction system or a magnet so that you could attach it to the hood of your vehicle or something to that effect would really make this a much more functional tool. Now let's just go over some of the specs here. Now this is 330,000 peak beam intensity. Now for comparison, the through night TN 36 UT was around 30,000. So this is 11 times brighter than that. So if you shine this in somebody's eyes, they can pretty much kiss their vision goodbye for at least a minute depending and and you could do that from a great distance also because it is very bright so from a tactical perspective yeah this could definitely be used for that then again it's probably not practical to be carrying it around in those kind of situations but you are provided with a handy strap to carry it over your shoulder so there might be some circumstances where it's feasible to use it for that purpose now one of the potential drawbacks or benefits depending on how you look at it is the built-in charging pack so this doesn't take your standard 18650 batteries you would have to buy a replacement pack. Of course, these lithium battery packs are gonna last between 500 and 1,000 charges, probably more than anybody's realistically ever gonna use, unless you're using this on a very regular basis. I'm sure you'll get several years of use out of it before you actually exhaust it. Now, the battery that's used here is claimed to be more efficient when you mix different random batteries, which is what people typically do if you're like me and you have 50 different kinds of 18650 batteries laying around, then you're actually compromising the maximum light output. So this dedicated factory battery pack ensures that you're getting the maximum amount of light output and the most efficient use of the available amperage. And it should be noted that many other flashlights like the Nightcore TM36 or the Phoenix RC40 and the Olight uh, Marauder, I believe it's called, all use a similar dedicated battery pack. Now this does come with a very large and cumbersome AC adapter. It cannot be charged by a USB. It probably could, but it would probably take a long time. The benefits of this adapter is that it's gonna charge from zero to full in only three hours. Like most through night flashlights, it's built very tough. You do have fairly good heat dissipation on there. You're not supposed to use the thermal mode for more than 10 minutes straight. My last real criticism of it is that for a flashlight like this, it should at least come with a nice case because this obviously isn't something that you're gonna throw in a bug out bag, maybe something you throw in the vehicle. But I think for the hefty price tag between $250 and $350, depending on whether or not you're in Canada or the United States, is a pretty hefty investment. Now you have to consider with this price though, that you're getting a built-in battery pack. So for most flashlights like this, it requires that you have at least four 18650 batteries and that could potentially cost you between 50 to 100 dollars depending on you know how much you want to spend or which brand you want to buy so you know take that into consideration anyways if you want a light that you can use to communicate with other planets then this is probably the one remember not all lights are created equal i would encourage you to go and watch my tactical flashlights 101 video it gives you an overview of pretty much everything you need to know about flashlights and if you want it i will post a link in the description it helps support the channel don't forget to like comment subscribe thanks for watching canadian prepper out
Check out the Canadian Preppers Network blog, an excellent resource for survivalists and preppers.